guys learn like this every day? Yeah? Wow. Today we are at MacArthur Elementary School for another edition of Super Things. We're going to be in Mrs. Colvin's classroom for a science experiment. Let's go. So tell us about the science curriculum, what you guys have been learning. So we're using Inspire Science, and that's our curriculum this year. And we have started the year learning about energy and motion. So this is carrying that into what they've been learning. And we're going to study how kinetic energy will transfer into another object. In Mrs. Colvin's fourth grade science class, they are studying kinetic energy. And today, specifically, they're looking at the effects of speed and collision with kinetic energy. So they'll be having matchbox cars race down a ramp at different levels to see the effects of speed uh, with con collision. Oh, there we go. 22. 22. We come up here, it pulls to the left. There we go. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, the car's going very slow, so therefore the movement is not very much at all. Very true. So do you guys like learning science the way that you did today, doing the experiments and group work? Or would you rather just read it in a book and tell us why you prefer which way you prefer? I would rather prefer it doing it this way because if you're reading it in a book, you don't really experience everything. But if you do it in real life, you get to learn more and like you get to learn about friction. Some things won't be in the book, but it will be out in life if you do it. I like this way because there's different variables that can change in real life and that won't be in the book. So you could... Um, learn different things even if the experiments is not like that topic. I like doing it this way because like in a book you don't get to like actually experience how it like how does this kind of like Abby's like how does this go down or like how is the friction like our rug when we were doing it the friction made the car stop if it was like on the cafeteria, it would go so much faster. So in a book, it might tell you that, but you might not be like, I wonder how that would be. And then you would never really be able to experience. It will still give you the knowledge of it. It just won't give you the actual experience. I like the teamship. And if you just do it, like you just read, or just like just plain read, or you will like not know anything if there's like something else happening or like let's go say there's a big a car there's another big one that could be in the book there's one that has like small one another big one uh, you never know what's gonna happen so i actually have a very special gift for you your oh. own little matchbox car it's mickey mouse disney because we know you and your family are disney fans very cool thank, thank you, you. So the kids were using some big terms. They are, Kinetic yeah. Kinetic energy and, and right. how does that go over with the kids? It's really exciting to see how the kids start at the beginning of the school year where their scientific vocab is just really basic. Uh, and then throughout the school year, they learn these really exciting words uh, and they sound so smart and so educated and they can use them in real life examples. So that's what's really cool about the science curriculum. Where could we do this experiment that might have less friction, that might have improved our experiment a little bit? Dane, what are you thinking? Um, outside on the blacktop. Oh, outside on the blacktop would have less friction, okay. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Super Things. I am Dr. Todd Terrell, coming to you from MacArthur Elementary School.